The Capitals opened up their week-long developmental camp today at the Kettler Iceplex. They also introduced forward Troy Brower, who they acquired from Chicago in exchange for a 2011 first-round pick. Brower scored 17 goals and added 19 assists last season, and he won a Stanley Cup with the Blackhawks in 2010. He is very excited for his new start in Washington. It's pretty exciting for me. Uh, um, you know, it, uh, you know, I'm regarded as a player that's going to come in and help the team out as much as I can. And, and uh, you know, that's all I want to be is, is a player that can give this team every opportunity to win. Two years ago, President's Trophy winners last year uh, won the conference, and, and uh, it's uh, surprising that they haven't, uh, you know, made a real strong push for the Stanley Cup. But uh, you know, sometimes it, you just get into tough matchups in the playoffs, and. and uh, you know, it, uh, they've got a, They've had a good team for the last two years, and I think uh, right now we're we might be a better team than they were in, in the past couple of years. And, and uh, you know, it's still real early, and I'm not saying we're we're winning anything yet, but uh, um, I think we got a very good opportunity, and, and uh, I like the direction that this team is heading. For me, every time that I've had one of my better games in my career, I've had uh, you know five, six, seven hits in a game, and, and for me to be successful, I need to be physical, and. and um, so uh, that's a big part of my game, and I'm going to you know, try and continue that uh, game in and game out. And in addition to introducing Troy Brower, the Capitals also introduced former goaltender Olaf Kolzig as an assistant coach. Of course, he'll be working with the goalies. Obviously, it's well documented what happened a few years ago, but um, you know, time heals all wounds. And, uh, and I was, I was, everybody was ready to move on, and, uh, and this is just another um, uh, process in that. And, uh, I'm glad that, uh, that I'm back and um, you, know, you don't bring up the past, we just move forward. He was a terrific leader as a player and had a lot of obviously character and, and charisma and, and uh, those are certainly things uh, and intelligence that, that coaches uh, have. Um, I think it's really good for him. Um, um, it's great to have him back. He looks great. He looks great in Cavs colors and uh, and um, I think it'll be really helpful for our organization. I want to be there for the kids. I want, to, want them to know that they can trust me. That uh, because the, 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 the position of goaltender, there's uh, there's not many coaches out there that have played the game, and so sometimes coaches don't understand what goalies are going through, and the goalies can't go to the coach and, and let him know what they're going through, and so they need somebody there to to uh, vent to or have somebody there that, that knows what what they've gone through and and uh, be able to get them out of their, their rut quicker. There you have it, Olaf Kolzig becoming the assistant goalie coach for the Capitals with a chance in years to come to be the head goalie coach for the Capitals. We'll have more from the developmental camp later this week on CTV Sports.